Let's stick with the Rock One ATR2 and PPO Extreme chart that tells the story of the current situation of the markets. There's a lot to look at, but this pretty much sums it up. And you'll be able to tell how many other charts there are to look at after we go through this. And we've been experiencing volatility, and it's positive volatility, the kind that we like, but nonetheless volatility. And pity the poor analyst who was waiting for a pullback after this huge move off the bottom in the beginning of August. Right here was the V. So there was a second chance to get in here, and if you didn't, well, you missed that move on the way up, and that we'll have to catch it on the way down. I switched over to a time-shortened chart, so you can really see where price has itself right at the very apex of an ascending triangle here indicated by the green dashed lines with arrow heads. The AD line still has a little wiggle room to go to the upside and there are a couple of support areas here. You can see this middle green dashed arrow and line and the one underneath it from the bottom. So we'll keep an eye on those for the pullback. And I would call this a frog that is fully fattened, meaning the heavy hitters will be coming back from the Hamptons on Tuesday on the 3rd, and retailers and everybody else have just run this up and fattened the frog, and they notoriously hit the sell button when they come back from the Hamptons. Maybe this time is different, but I can't imagine it looking at it the way it has itself wedged at the very apex of that triangle there. A D line is just constantly charting uncharted territory. So the A D line does still corroborate what price is doing as there are really no divergences to speak of at this moment. However, the MACD histogram does not concur with that, so it did before, and now it's got a downwards trajectory contrary to price in a D-line. The KST did lead the way down, so it wants to hook around and head back up. We'll have to see what happens, but it's really not anything that's defining there. And RSI has not even gone above 70 yet. And you would think by that parabolic price move that we would have a peak here like this up here for this current area, but not. And we were definitely not on the pity pot during that huge downdraft. You can view the last video on this PPO Extreme chart video as this was really the only indication of a contrary divergence to price and AD. And again, I'm beginning to really like this one here, but you can see that currently the ultimate oscillator that showed us the divergence here has another one here going in both directions. So even though it is pointed up, again, it's very lame and not anywhere near popping above 70 on that parabolic move. So, big divergence there in the ultimate oscillator. And the commodity channel index sort of just heaved itself over the 100 line for a buy signal, but that is really quite lame too. And the Williams percent R is just sailing away up there and the commodity channel index really doesn't concur that as you can see here but look back at some of the other instances when they were in concert with each other so here here back here I mean all of these almost 
except for here on balance volume really not a momentum indicator but nonetheless does have green arrows pointed up all over the place and if you're out of May locks and maybe you should run out to the store or, or order some and have it on hand as the ulcer index is really just idling away some of these low areas down here that are comparable here here so it's really on the bottom and poised for a shot up to the upside so once it gets past this line you sit up and take notice and as it starts moving up like back here and here we'll start ingesting the malox and really start guzzling it if it starts going above this ulcer index line at three and we got some pretty big trouble.